Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you an investment portal web app dashboard which is created by using Google Sheet as a database and Google Web App Script for the coding purposes. Okay, so in this web app dashboard, you can make the investment and earn the profits. Okay, now how it will be work. So first of all, I just click on this logout from here and also I just click on this logout from here. I will log in both the admin and user frequently so I can able to show you all the things step by step how this will be work. So in our Google Sheet now you can able to see we have one admin and one user. So I just copy my admin credentials and click and enter here and click on this login. And uh, now you can able to see I am successfully logged as a admin. When I go to my manage users from here, I can add new user, edit new user and delete new user. I just copy my username from here and paste it here and now again paste it here and click on this login so this is a new user this user don't have any data yet so i want to show you how actually this will be work so you can see here nothing total investment nothing top up and nothing total earned okay so how this will be work for example you want to invest a amount in this particular company you just go to your ad transactions now you can just select the investment okay how much want to invest 1500 rupees so your username is by default it appears here and it's read only you cannot able to change them you need to enter the transactions id transactions id if you want to add a, a notes you can also add them uh, i just add here notes and here you need to upload a transaction receipt of your particular transactions and click on this submit so when you click on this submit now you can able to see your data is successfully submitted and it's loading so now after submitting the data nothing happened here is nothing amount is added in total investment so right now you will need to go your admin panel so your admin go there pending request so now you can able to see that request is submitted by this user this particular amount and the transaction receipt admin will check the transaction received if it will be the received in their bank account and they will approve otherwise they will reject them so approve this request when they are approving the, this request now you can able to see no data available in table no pending transactions available okay so whenever you come here and log in again or refresh your data now you can able to see your 1500 rupees is successfully credited is successfully added in your account so for example, uh, your admin will use this. Uh, your admin is successfully used that particular 1500 rupees in their particular business and they have earned a profit of 150 rupees and they want to give you the 75 rupees. Okay, now you click on this add transaction admin. Note this is the admin. Admin click on this add transactions and select the earned amount because they will deposit it in your earned sections and how much amount is 150 rupees half is 75 and selection confirmation is given by the user is given by the user who have who, who have received this amount in their bank account okay select a user this particular user and the transaction id is this particular notes uh 1500 rupees profit okay and uh, you want to upload a uh transaction received and select the transaction received and click on this submit so when you click on this submit now the same procedure will happen of pending request of pending request happen with their users okay now user login and go to their pending request so now you can able to see the pending user means the pending user need to verify this so it will be allocated to user one earned profit 75 rupees and you can see here the transaction received when you click on this transaction received and after you verify the transaction you just simply click on this approve otherwise you will reject them okay when you click on this approve now you go to your dashboard section you will see here successfully the 75 rupees will be appears in your transaction history so in this case you can able to see here okay so this is the system uh, which we have developed now you can able to see one more thing and if you want to same like if you want to add a top up for that particular user you want to add a 1600 confirmation is given by the user and it's a user one and transaction history is this and click on this submit 
So when you click on this submit, now your data is going to be submitted and whenever your user is going to your pending request and you will able to see the what 1600 rupees will be created in your top up account. Is it received by you? Yes, it's received. Approve this request. So when you approve this request, now you can able to see in your dashboard your data is successfully added your amount is successfully added in your top up amount so right now you can able to see the transaction types graph okay the daily totals and the amount distribution investment and and top up and the category overview one more thing uh, you can see here when you refresh this web application your data table will be the automatically adjusted again uh, the start date filter we just select here and uh, select here and click on this tick icon so now you can able to see all the data available in that particular dates and when we select the five and uh, uh, here's we also select the eight and click on this now you can able to see no matching records will be found and when you click on this load all the transactions will be come here again you can see here last seven days and again last 30 days and last one years you can also apply the filters in them so this is your profile you can add your password and you can change your password so you need to enter your old password and you need to make a new password and click on this update so when you click on this update your password is going to be successfully changed here okay so uh, this is the pending request all the features i think you must be understand and when you click on this manage users in in the video start i have shown you uh, the manage users so if you add a new user for example i will add the uh, new user user one and again enter the password the same and it's a user and click on this save user so when i click on this save user now you can able to see no user is added here because why we already have this user one so when i click on this add user and uh, go to here and again enter my password and select the type user and click on this save user so when i click on this save user now you can able to see the user is successfully added in our database so in this way you can run a system so one last feature for example accidentally uh you are for example in some cases accidentally your user approved the transactions by mistake so in that case what will be happen so for example uh, you will refresh this web application and uh, this 1600 rupees is approved by accidentally so your admin go here and uh, where is uh, uh, 75 rupees and click on select and reset and when he click on this okay now you can able to see that particular is not a received or not a not confirmed so it will select it will have a option received or not but this will not work okay so after admin verify from this user and again click on this uh not received and click on this update confirmation so when he click on this update confirmation now you can able to see your data is not received will be updated successfully so if you received you will select this okay and updating your database and again you can refresh your web application so in this way this web application will work hope you like this video you like this concept and uh, hope you subscribe our channel because this is a basic task to subscribe our channel so please subscribe take care thank you very much